What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Working Class Knowledge YouTube channel. So I'm about to make somebody's life a lot better. So I don't know about where you guys are at, but where I am, it's starting to get hot out. It's about 90 degrees today. And I know in the summertime, when I'm working, I like to have shorts on. The problem with the shorts, you know, with the pants, you can have, you can buy those pants, you can slip the knee pad into the, into the pants, and you got a knee pad on all day long and you don't have to think about it. You drop down your knees, you're good. Crawl into the van, you're good. That's one thing I'm doing every day is crawling in and out of that van and it has this weird mat that if you kneel on it, it's like kneeling on rice. So in the summertime, I was just looking for some sort of alternative because Home Depot's knee pads, the only ones. I mean, I've probably purchased every knee pad they have. I started with, like everyone else, I go for the, the big, expensive, with the gel. They weigh like 20 pounds each. And it has a square bottom. So as soon as you kneel down wrong, the knee pad just twists. And they're so heavy that they're falling down. And you're, they're around your ankles <laughs> sometimes. So I was just looking for something different. And the only good ones that I found at Home Depot are over in the tile section actually. And it, those cheap ones, the HDX, I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about. They're gray and orange. They're like 10 or 12 bucks. It has one strap that goes across the back, not two. They don't pinch the back of your legs. And they're all right. The problem with them is the knee pad itself, it loses its uh, its sponginess, if you know what I'm talking about. It just goes flat within weeks. It doesn't take very long. And, you know, that's like, uh, you're going to sweat with those regardless. So, I wasn't trying to not sweat with knee pads because it's going to happen. So, I was like, I, I got to look into something. I'm going to look into another area maybe like uh, I don't know, motocross or sports and that's exactly what I did and I came across these guys G form <coughs> you can buy them on Amazon they're like 60 bucks and yeah I know 60 bucks but they're worth it trust me You'll get two summers. I get at least two full summers out of one pair. And actually, I am on... They just updated the style not too long ago. Well, actually, it has been. It's been three years. I'm on my third summer with this, this newer design, or whatever it is. So this is a large... On the website, it shows you you have to measure your leg, and uh, if you have Sasquatch legs, you may not like these because they have this uh, this little rubber thing inside at the top and the bottom. Though those little sticky things keep these in place all day they do not move and yes there is a little bit of a break in the first day first couple days are a little you know they feel a little tight so you just want to stretch them out a little bit break them in but I'm telling you after they're broken in you won't even know you have these on there's been several times I've come home from work, I'm sitting down at the computer, I'm doing my thing, I look at the clock, it's like 7.30 at night, 
and I look down and I still have my knee pads on from work. I had them on since 5 a.m. I didn't, I completely, I just didn't know I had them on. You can wear them all day. They don't pinch the back of your legs because it's just spandex. Now I think I stay cooler in these than I do in regular knee pads, but no matter what, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna sweat a little bit. But the best thing I found about these is they do not lose their sponginess. That's not the thing that actually goes when these go. And I'll show you, these are brand new, I just got these. They're backups. Here's the ones I've been using. And we're going on to, we're just about to start summer three. So I literally just pulled these out of the wash. Every Friday, I take them and chuck them into the laundry. You wash them, just wash them with your work clothes. Take them out. I don't throw them in the dryer. I just chuck them like, you know, in my room on the floor or something and they dry and they're ready to go. So these ones, I mean, I've been wearing these for two summers. They have not lost any of their sponginess. So I kneel down on concrete, I kneel down in rocks. I kneel down on anything with these. Like I, I don't, I'm not easy on these. I don't like try to be careful with them. They're there to protect my knee. See, the only thing that goes is, you know, the spandex never goes. It stays fine. It's actually, the, the knee pad itself starts to, like, delaminate. See, there's like a coating. You see how it's starting to peel there? My last pair, this little circle thingy here in the middle, just kind of fell out. Let me see, I thought... Is it this one? Yeah. See this one's starting to peel here a little bit at the seam where it's the knee pads sewed on. So that's why when I started seeing the delamination and uh, you know these starting to peel, I was like, I'm getting another set on the way because these things are awesome. Again, you're gonna have to measure measure your leg. Make sure you get the right size. And uh, you got hairy legs. I don't know. Maybe they'll be fine. So I know with unions and stuff in those those big uh, those big job sites, they force you to wear pants, boots, hard hats. I mean, they might as well throw gloves, scarves, and everything else on you. What the hell? I don't understand how you guys work like that. I couldn't do it. That's why I stick with small companies. And I work in people's houses. I'll show up in my pajamas if I feel like it. Alright? But I wear shorts in the summertime. And I love these things. So if you wear shorts and you're looking for an alternative knee pad for work, definitely check these out. You'll be glad you did. So hopefully that was helpful. Make sure you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.